Hey guys, I'm Jason Creel and you're watching A Lawn Care Life. Today I'm going to share with you a story that happened to me several years ago and I think it's going to contain an important lesson for those of you in the lawn care business and maybe even a life lesson. Uh, but for those who've been in lawn business and for those who are starting out. I want to cut right to the story. Several years ago I had uh, been doing YouTube videos for a little while uh, on you know lawn care business helping people start a lawn business and at the time I had an ebook that I was selling I think for like $19 or something okay and I was teaching people you know how to get going in their lawn care business and I had very few followers on the internet I don't I don't know I didn't you know do that many videos and that sort of thing um, but I had somebody who began to email me who you know I'm not gonna say his name but it was sort of a big shot in the lawn care circles okay not on YouTube so um, but somebody who had a, a much bigger significant online impact in lawn care circles and he was basically letting me know in no uncertain terms that it, when it came to lawn care I was not able to tote his lawn care jock strap okay that he was way more established had accomplished way more and that who was I basically to be on here proclaiming that I knew something about lawn care and trying to help people because I was nowhere near to his level of expertise and I thought well this is bizarre you know and it, and it was bizarre the first time and I don't know what I replied I actually tried to go back and find the emails I couldn't find them um, like I said it's been several years ago and I guess somehow they're deleted off uh, but anyway I was unable to find them and, but he kept emailing me I think three or four emails and I finally just ignored him I quit replying because it was like listen this guy's not gonna quit I, I looking back I'm thinking this is really bizarre you know it's if LeBron James or in this case the self-proclaimed LeBron James of lawn care if there's a heckler in the crowd and he yells at him we're like come on LeBron you ain't gotta yell at the heckler in the crowd everybody knows you're great okay well this was a, he I wasn't heckling him it's like this is like the guy sitting on the upper deck with his arms folded and LeBron calls him out and says who are you to tell me you know anything about lawn care or basketball you know it was that situation or better if if LeBron goes to some kind of high school basketball camp where they're teaching little kids how to dribble and he says who are you to teach people how to dribble I'm LeBron James I need to be teaching people how to dribble you know it was bizarre and when I replied I'm like what if, if you're half as accomplished as you think you are or say you are what do you care about me selling a $19 ebook on the internet you know so anyway the point being let's get to the point of how this translates into the lawn care business in the lawn care business you know if you're starting off let me just say this there's going to be some people that are real excited about you you know helping you out your friends family people they're just saying you know that's great i'm glad you're doing this there's going to be other people who are basically don't care you know they could care less if you start a line business or don't start a line business a lot of your competitors are going to be that way they've got their business to run they got plenty of business they could care less if somebody else went and bought a lawnmower and a trailer and started cutting grass they absolutely could care less and that's fine and then there's others who are going to actually be offended by the fact that you are trying to take a portion of their business okay that you had the nerve to start a lawn care business in the same town that they've been working for the past 20 years okay and it doesn't matter if they've got you know hundreds of customers and there's this huge chocolate pie okay let me translate let me speak in some terms you might understand if there's a huge chocolate pie and this one business has been dominating the pie for years and they've got 75 percent of the pie if you come in and you try to get one slither of a piece of pie i'm talking about one percent of the pie the guy with 75 percent sometimes is offended at you now this isn't always the case you know what i'm saying but i'm saying in the situation with me and this other guy he was offended that you know somebody else would enter into his space i guess i i, I don't know what his problem was okay he, he, people like that are never happy i don't understand it so what i'm saying is if you start a line business and somebody who's in your space and they are kind of big leaguing you is what i'm calling it okay they're gonna big league you 
you know, I'm a big leaguer, you're not a big leaguer, what are you doing in my town? You know, I'm the one, I'm the lawn care professional in this town. Okay, so they're not gonna talk to you, they're not gonna look at you, make eye contact at the gas station when you're filling up, you know, because you're not a big leaguer like they are. Well, listen, let me just make two, two applications to this. One, this is the minority of people, in my opinion, they're gonna do you this way. So if you're starting off, don't be intimidated by those people. What, what is ridiculous is, you know, if they've got 75% of the pie, what most of the time, the pie is actually growing. So if you come in and get, you know, 50 customers, it doesn't mean they can't get 50 more also because the pie's getting bigger. We're in a growing industry. There's more and more houses being built, more and more people, more and more demand for our services. So just don't be intimidated and go about your business. And if you've been established in the lawn business, man, don't, don't big league the guys. And let me make sure I'm using that term right. Hold on. Okay, Google. What does it mean to big league somebody? To intentionally ignore a person in order to appear superior. That sounds about right. So, you know, it sounds like I'm at least using it in context. People want to intentionally ignore you. They want to act like you're not in their league. Okay, that's totally ridiculous. Don't big league the guys who are just starting off and act like they don't belong or they, you know, they're not as cool as you or they don't have this mower as cool as your mower or then, you know, I mean, go out of your way to help them at least introduce yourself to them. I mean, I, at the end of the day, we're competing, okay? We're all competing for business. I want to get more customers than my competitors. But let's don't take this thing more serious than it actually is, okay? We're not, you know, solving some AIDS epidemic in Africa. We're not curing anybody of cancer. We're not doing anything like that. We're simply in the lawn care business. So let's keep it in proportion and don't act like somebody, you know, has stole all your candy when they come and start a lawn business in your neighborhood. It's not a big deal. I mean, it really isn't. Let me hear from you guys. Have you ever tried, has someone ever tried to big league you? And if you're in the business, you know, what, what's your opinion on this video? Am I off track here or am I uh, shooting people straight? So let me hear from you in the comments. Check out these suggested videos. And if you hadn't done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. There's hundreds of videos on here. Uh, some more helpful than others. Thanks a lot.